Hello, um, I'm Javad Vasang. I'm the Executive Medical Director at uh, East Lanx uh, NHS uh, Trust. How I've done it previously, I'll just stick to some aspects of those and one is by just informing you the number of patients who are positive with COVID and in our hospital. Uh, at the moment, we have a total of 38 patients uh, in East Lanx. Uh, one of uh, the patient is in critical care. It just shows that uh, the disease is still um, present uh, in the communities um, and as a consequence results in admissions. And unfortunately, when it gets severe, um, patient needs to be in critical care. Um, we have, however, reduced the number of wards that are looking after COVID patients just because the numbers have come down and at the moment we have two wards in hospital. Now, the number in community is, um, is lessening. Now, that is a good news for us. However, one has to be very cautious in taking these numbers because one factor could be we are having less of testing and as a result, less people are coming in up for testing, there will be a lesser number of people who are positive with the disease are being reported. So there is a reduction in the number of testing centers, uh, but that doesn't mean that the availability of the lateral flow test has gone down anymore. So if, if people have got symptoms, please do test yourself. There are still PCRs being done in the community, there are these testing centers which are free, but so is the availability of lateral flow test. You can order it online. You can get a, a total of seven uh, lateral flow tests in one patch and you know you can test it. So if you have a symptom, please do because it's important that we know exactly how the, and what the trends of COVID-19 is in the community. And that brings in the fact of vaccination because the disease is still out there, the virus is still there, and the only protection we have is by having vaccination, uh, but also by following the IPC principles, which I have been mentioning uh, over the last so many weeks and months. So again, hand hygiene, social, social distancing uh, is quite important. Moving on, um, the 8th of March sees as the International Women's Day being celebrated across the country. Uh, ELHT is also doing its bit. We have great women leaders um, in ELHT in our region and in the country. Uh, and we ought to recognize that and we ought to appreciate the contributions that they have uh, done for just not for the NHS, but for the entire country. a and &E continues to be under pressure. We are seeing increased number of patients with the high acuity attending the, the, the accident and emergency department. And we are doing our best and utmost to make sure that we provide the safe care to this group of patients. There are patients who are on the corridor, but again, we have mechanisms where we ensure that they are looked after in their nutrition and hydration with the safeguarding and with the best possible care we can provide within the constraints. As a system, we are working to deliver the safe care. ELHT on its own cannot do all that is required for this group of patient and neither can NHS. It has to be all the partners who work together. So we are doing our bed. We have got great partnership with our community colleagues, with our GPs, with councils, uh, where we provide the right package of care. And as per previous um, mention, for patients who require attending to the healthcare, please explore the options of 111, your GP surgery, your local pharmacist before you make your way to the urgent care or to the, to, to the accident and emergency department. It's also important that once a patient is admitted that the patient and the families work with the hospital on discharge planning. I'm pretty sure 
no patients or no family wants their loved one to stay even an extra hour in the hospital, and that is the right thing. Um, we do our best to, to ensure that the moment patients have been dealt with appropriately and are safe to be discharged, we do our best to move them to the right place. It could be their home, it could be a community placement, it could be a nursing home, care home. So please work with the teams who are looking after you in the inpatient setting so as to help decide when it is the best time to be discharged and where. Uh, teams will work with the relatives and the patients to ensure that patients are discharged at the right time to the right place. Uh, that's all I have to say about um, this week's update. Uh, next week, it will be one of my colleagues who will provide an update. Uh, I'm away for two weeks and we'll have some downtime uh, and hopefully come back refreshed to update you of how things are uh, with, within ELHT and in Lansing, South Cumbria. Uh, look after yourself. Bye for now.